What to film? What to film? Oh boy. I'm having a hard time figuring out what should I film. I do not know what to film. Uh, we all know the popular YouTuber named Casey Neistat. He inspires a lot of people. Does a lot of cool things. I'm honestly jealous of the guy because he gets to live in New York and film. I mean, that's all I want to do. Just go to New York and film a lot of shit. You know, I don't really care what it is and he doesn't either. So, I never looked up to him. But I do like the lifestyle that he was living that's on camera because I don't know what he's dealing with off camera so basically I'm having a very difficult time on what to film right now I don't know what to do with this camera I mean come on now so I had the best leg day ever in a long time like I don't even need to say a long time I had the best leg day ever so Man, I was just at home. I didn't want to go to the gym at uh at like eight o'clock, but I ended up coming. I got here like at eight thirty. Went to uh, Vitamin Shoppe, and I got a pre workout for the low. Uh, then I went to the gym, and let me tell you, I had the best leg day ever, man. It was it was incredible, man. I worked out so hard, man. I was chilling on the squats for an hour. I was on the squat rack for an hour. Nobody couldn't tell me anything. Some guy wanted to see how many more sets I had. I told him just hop in, you know, because I'm going to be here forever. And I haven't done squats in a long time, so I was very excited to do squats. I go there and I just do a caddy, like, four times before the guy came over and asked me and I just said hop in I just did like five sets with him with a caddy only after he left I added some more weight you know and honestly I didn't think I'll be able to um, increase my weight too much but I just kept going for it you know I kept stretching my legs out had good music on and uh, I was watching the football game at the same time man oh man I had two at the end my max was like just two caddies on each side with a 25 plate on each side, man. I'm, I did not think I'll be able to do that, man. But I was able to do it. And um, I don't know, man. It was just a good day. I don't know. I just just came out of me, you know. Like I don't know. Something, <laughs> something's about me. I just don't know. So don't even try to figure me out because I don't even know how to figure myself out. You know. So I just I continue doing what I had to do, stretching. Then squat, stretch, squat, squat, stretch, squat. Have fun, jamming, jumping around everywhere. I don't care what anybody thinks of me or how they see me. It was it was that kind of day, you know. And it's always busy around five to nine. Sometimes, well, five to twelve is busy now, but five to nine is the five to nine is like the worst time to be at the gym. It was just, it's always, it's always, always difficult just to, like, just find anything if you want to do anything, if you have a group of people, because everybody's always in a group and they're always talking. So it's just the worst time, but I was, a I was able to find a squat rag when I came in and just did that, you know. After that, went to leg press, did the leg press, it was incredible. Um, so, some, I was just stretching for a little bit, you know, two caddies on each side, single leg, some old man came. He wanted to uh, squat, I mean, to uh, do leg press. I just said hop in because I'm going to be there forever, you know. And I end up doing, I don't know, man. I'm not lying, but I end up doing like 35 sets of leg press, you know. It, I just increased the weight. I went all the way up to four plates each side with a 25. And I was repping them out. And I wasn't doing a single leg. As soon as I got to a... Uh, four plates I do double leg and I just maxed out well I didn't max out I just went up to 30 over and over because one I'm very 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 afraid of leg day because I tend to injure my back with squatting my lower back with squatting and leg press and I'm doing those two correctly now and I'm just trying to avoid injury plus it's my first day back doing leg day so I really didn't want to um 
go too heavy, but at the same time, I don't need to make up excuses to prove to you that I can do more than four caddies on each side. It really doesn't matter. I love, love not going, I, I just love the fact that I don't need to like, prove anything like I know what I can do I stick to four caddies so I don't hurt myself I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling I did too many sets to feel like I could I should just prove to myself I could do five I know I can do five caddies on each side I don't need to prove myself to anybody or my like I, I know I can prove it to myself but at the same time I I've done it before I could do it again but today wasn't the day today's my first day back doing legs in a very long time and it was the best leg day ever you know man it was just a great day I started, oh damn, well, what else did I do after that? I was doing a lot of, I did some lunges, which I hate, stiff leg deadlift. Um, then I ended up doing deadlift, which I didn't go too hard on. The most I did was a caddy and a 25 on each side. And I did that for a couple sets. After that, I mean, I'm telling you, when I said I'm like, I'm dead tired and I'm very, very frustrated because I'm just sitting down and then some... Some some thoughts just linger into my head, and I'm just like, I, I I gotta run away from that from that thought. So I just kept pushing the weight, and I keep pushing the limit, you know. Like I was dead tired. I'm sitting down, and then I just try to get back up, do some more deadlifts, so I can forget about what I was thinking about, you know. And I just keep my eyes focused on the game, it, just to like run away from that thought, you know. Just ah. Uh, After that, man, I went to uh, do goblet squat, and at this point, I am dead tired. Like, wait, hold on. What time is it? It's twelve oh eight. I was here in the gym at least. I was in. I was in here by like eight fifty. Eight fifty, because I went to Vitamin Chope, and I got there at eight thirty. And I was just looking around for a little bit. Then I bought what I had to buy. Okay, I was probably at the gym at like eight forty five because I did not take that long in there. And it's 12.08, so, and I was talking for like a good six minutes right now, so it really doesn't matter, six minutes and something, so it really doesn't matter at all. Um, so I did goblet squats, as I'm doing goblet squats, man, uh, you, that song, that song Love by Tory Lane, L-U-V, oh man. When that song hit, man, I nearly I nearly broke down and started crying out of freaking nowhere. Like <sighs> something happened recently and I was oh man. When that song came on, I nearly lost myself. I had to like suck it up because t a tear was about to fall out of my freaking eyes, man. I was mad, man. I was like I almost cried at the gym today. I almost cried. My legs was killing me. I am tired. I'm sweating. I don't stink too bad, too much. <laughs> but I'm just pushing and I'm working. I don't care what anybody say or how they see me because I'm hype. And then bam, that song came on. Nearly broke down crying. But I listened to the entire song as I was doing the squats. I mean the goblet squats. And then once I sat down on the bench between sets, it, it nearly came out. Came out, man. It was, it was crazy, man. The song was almost over, and I'm like, let me do another, another round. I did another round. The song was over. I sat down. Then the song uh, "Good Times" came on with somebody and uh, I think Young Thug. Yeah. Good Times was my favorite song, like, last year. No, no, no. Yeah, last year, around the time it came out, basically. Like, I don't know, man. It was a good song, and I loved it, writing, uh, writing in the class and stuff. But when that song came on, I nearly cried again. It was just, like, good songs after good songs trying to get me to burst out crying. Why? Hey, listen, you can figure that out yourself, man. Like... I nearly cried. I, I just almost broke down to the point when I did the goblet squats. I did, instead of doing, I was going up to seven. Instead of doing up to seven when good times came on, I did up to three. I had to sit down. 
nearly broke down. The song continued. I was sitting down for like a minute and a half, maybe two. Got back up, completed the, the rest, four, so it equals seven. Keep my eyes on a football game, and then the song was over by, the, by that time. And I just did everything for legs, really. I did uh, leg, well, I already said leg press. I did leg extensions. I did, uh, what do you call it when you're doing your quads? I was doing my quads. It was crazy, man. I was doing everything. Right before I left the gym, leg extension. And then after leg extensions, I went on to do, whoa. I went on to do, uh, what do you call it? Stairmaster. After Stairmaster, calf, and calves. And after that, I just did like, I don't know, what's that thing called? When you, when you sit on the bar, wait, you stand on the bar, hold the bar with your elbows, and you kick your legs out over and over. I did that for two sets of 10, 10 halfway, like straight out, and then another 10 all the way up to my head. And then that was it, man. I had to come in. I was done, man. Like, it's 12 something. I'm tired. Best leg day ever. I don't know, man. Like, I gotta, st I gotta start enjoying myself, man. Cause you know everything. A lot of things play a role into your life, man. Like, money, school, job, <sighs> your personal life, like working out, your your friends. Like, all these things always come to my freaking mind, and and then. My mind just start running with it. Like, what's wrong, man? Like, I got people around sometimes. Everything, like, is just weird. Like, this is life, man. This is life. And then, like, I'm always pissed off. Cliff, why you always pissed off, man? Pissed off, man. Why you always pissed off, man? Because I'm supposed to be successful, bro. Like, it's about to be 2017. I, I, I'm... I still can't believe it's about to be 2017. Tell you why? Because back in 2009, it didn't hit me that it was going to be 2010 until like the end of 2010. Like, like it's 2009. It's about to be 2010. I'm like, there's no freaking way it's about to be 2010. 2010 comes along. What the fuck? 2010? Because I still feel like I'm that young kid from Miami and living in the apartment with my parents, yo. Like, it's freaking ridiculous. And then we have all the information in the world to be successful. We have the internet. They didn't have that back then. They had that dial-up shit. You didn't even want to go on the internet, man. And encyclopedia was the way to go, man. We have everything to our fingertips. There's no way you shouldn't be successful. There's no way. And the fact that I'm 20 fucking 2, I'm not successful yet, is very, very disappointing. Very, very disappointing to myself. It doesn't make any fucking sense. You're fucking 22. Everybody's doing what I wanted to do. But my fucking excuse was that, oh, I don't have the money. I wanted to record. I wanted to make videos. I wanted to do all this shit. That's why I have all these footage from my past. And then everybody, and then when somebody sees me with a camera, oh, now you still to record? No, I've been wanting to do this since my entire life, man. Like, ever since I was young. I record everything. Why? If you watch this entire video and you get to hear why, well, this is the reason why I record everything. Because one day, one fucking day, you're going to get old and you might not remember shit. That's why I record. In case that day come, I get old. I don't remember who I was with or where I was at the time or any of that shit. At least I got my videos online and I can still watch that shit. Alright, that's basically why. Like, there's no fucking way you shouldn't be successful. There's no fucking way where you shouldn't be doing what you want to do. There's no fucking way. Like, life is holding you back, but at the same time, you got to figure a way to get that shit, you know? Like, I have so much energy. Like, I can't tell you everything, but I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm... I'm, I'm going to just say it. <laughs> this might sound funny. I'm a pissed off athlete who never made it. That's how I feel. I feel like at a certain point in my life, I feel like I should have been 
playing sports. I don't fucking know what sport. I love football. I love basketball. Whatever fucking sport I was supposed to be playing, and I didn't make it, <laughs> I'm a pissed off athlete, you know? I still want to train like a fucking athlete, football player, basketball player. I don't give a fuck. Or I just like to train. Either one. Because every day I wake up, I have energy. I have the, 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 the thought and the willpower to get the fuck up and go to the beach and always run like I always wanted to for the sunrise. I have that energy like, oh, that, I mean that thought like, yo, man, just go outside and run, man. You have five hours before work start. Why don't you want to get up and run? Oh, I don't want to waste my energy. I got I to gotta save it for work. Yeah, save it for fucking work. That's what I've been doing. All that energy that they see at work. I've been saving that shit. That's the, that's the energy I've been feeling since this morning. But I don't work until five. And I'm waiting seven hours. So I don't waste my energy for work. Because I know work is going to be hectic, crazy. And I have to sweat all day. I've been doing everything for work, you know. I've been doing all that shit for work. And. Basically, man. I had a good leg day. I feel good. I have to do what makes me happy. Find a way. Find what motivates me. You know, I don't want anybody to take this personally, but you can't be you can't be unsuccessful this year. Like I mean, this year or the end of this year, in your life. If you're if you're between nineteen and twenty five, don't be like me and don't have your life together. Figure some shit out. I mean, it's hard to figure it out, but you got to figure something out because I haven't figured this shit out. I'm still upset. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing, how I'm supposed to be making money because me working at my job that I'm working at right now, that money does not last, man. That money does not last. Like it, I can save it, but I can't tell you everything that's happening right now. Oh my God. M money come and go. I, I do my best to save it. I'm not even spending my money on certain things, but money just end up disappearing. No matter how hard I work, it's not like, it's, uh, 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 I always come back to work, but, um, do what you want to do, man. Like I get up, I mean, I want to run. I just get, I'm just so lazy. I got to figure a way to break through. And then I got to, oh man, oh man. There's so much things I want to do. Now I'm just rambling. I just... Oh my god, man. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mm. <sighs> yep. I just want to say, I just want to say, I love this fucking weather! Oh my god, that looks nasty. I don't know how I look like right now. Shut up! I don't know how I look right now. I hope it's in focus. But yo, I love this weather. It's like a cool 72 degrees. I'm pretty sure it's 72. And um, it's just really cold. I mean, well, what Floridians call cold. Well, South Floridians. It's fucking freezing. 70 degrees. It's fucking beautiful. And uh, I love it. Just want to say that. All right. Have a good night. So right now, I'm looking ugly. Walking around Wally World. A lot of my people watching me record. The reason I'm here is because I keep using or destroying my uh, black hat. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys probably seen a video with my black hat. Understand that I have multiple black hats. So, right now, I'm about to, right now, I'm about to buy two hats again. Um, this will be probably the seventh and eighth time that I'm, seventh or eighth hat that I'm buying. So, I had about, I don't know how many I have, like a, 
I don't freaking know. And I bought one for somebody for his birthday. So he's able to have a black hat, a plain black hat. He wears it every day or every time he comes to work. And it's always looking fresh, new. And he doesn't destroy it. It's nice. It's always in good condition. Like it's brand new, you know? And I'm over here buying new hats every freaking two weeks, three weeks. They're very, very inexpensive. They're like 344. Some of them said like 344. The other ones took like set five something, 588, whatever. I don't know, but I buy these all the time. Very cheap, very good. I bought two, one for the gym and one to go out with. I went out, I told myself, take the one that's for the gym to go out with, cause it's not dirty and you can't really tell. I took the new one that's supposed to be for going out and I was supposed to, and I was going somewhere where they don't allow hats. So I had to leave it outside, which I made that mistake. I was gonna leave it in the car, but I left it outside, came back out, completely gone. So I gotta buy new hats. And in my gym hat, I can't find it. It was in the car just the other day. I don't know, where is that? Oh, what the hell is this? There's two different types. What the hell is this? Looks nasty. This is the one that I want. Oh, they, oh, they look different. All right, this is the same. I feel like I should go for the white one, but I don't think I look good with it. Nah. There's a blue one. Nah. Uh, why do you wear hats? Well, because I like to wear hats. And plus, I have a, a little condition called alopecia areata, and it's it's basically it's basically um uh, bald spots. It just like it just happens out of nowhere to some people. There's no cure. The only way to fix it is with treatment, which I stopped doing treatment like a year and a couple months. Changed my insurance, my ins and then they didn't take my insurance anymore. And then my insurance dropped me from my family plan, so I don't have insurance. Period. And uh, and I refuse to pay for insurance right now because, listen, I'm not paying another bill. You know, I mean, it's, it's health insurance, of course, you need it, but at the same time, I don't feel like I make enough to pay for it. I'll just be very careful. Um, I will get health insurance very soon. I mean, we're about to be in 2017, so I'm going to try to get health insurance in January. Hopefully, when tax returns come back, they don't charge me super hard like my mom said because I don't pay insurance. I don't know, but whatever. I got my hats. Let me get out before uh, I buy something that I don't need. Yo, this thing right here, I buy this like once every two months now. The reason, the reason I buy one every two months now is because for some reason it breaks. And obviously it's cheap, but I don't care if it's, I don't really care. I'm not breaking them anymore. I used to break them like, like I said, I used to get them every two months. So I used to break them a lot. My cousin broke them. You know, on Thanksgiving, he came in my car, playing with the Oscars, always putting his music on, and then he just ended up breaking it, so, I gotta get another one. I also didn't get a chance to say, uh, my cousin broke it, and I bought a new one, and then the new one didn't work anymore. I mean, the new one wasn't working right, so, I'm about to like, exchange it, that's why I have this bag over here. Because I bought it and it just stopped working. I mean, it didn't work at all, period. It was just making a lot of scratching noise. So I'm about to switch it. I don't know, it's nighttime. They might do uh, returns on stuff. I don't know. Never done this before. It wasn't working. 
little scratch on the line. Steve! Come here. Please. I can't run. This is why I hate going to Walmart, man. I always gotta get something, man. Like, no matter how hard I try to not get anything, because this place will rob the fuck out of you, man. One time I bought everything for a dollar, and it ended up to, it, it got up to 50, 54 dollars. I was like, what the fuck? But uh, I'm getting my favorite shit, which is lemonade. Oops, ooh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. 